In this video, we will show you all of the wireless network performance tools if you have subscribed to the Intelligence Premium Bundle. If you have not watched the first video in this series on the Intelligence Basic Bundle, please do so now. Verizon's wireless network performance platform offers you advanced capabilities for network support and troubleshooting. It can also help you prepare for planned outages with a clear, near real-time view of network coverage, potential disruptors, and connected devices. There are a few prerequisites. Your profile must be onboarded to ThingSpace. You must subscribe to the Intelligence Premium Bundle. Check out the provided link to compare the wireless network performance features included in the basic or premium intelligence bundles. Let's take a look at the wireless network performance tool with the Intelligence Premium Bundle. At the top of the page, click the drop-down arrow next to Account Name and select the account you had previously located in ThingSpace. Then click Go. Let's take a look at all of the additional options that you have with the Intelligence Premium Bundle. On the left, let's use the search icon to locate a specific place. You can save this location for future access with the use of two drawing tools, Polygon and Rectangle. For this example, I will use the Polygon tool to draw a perimeter around the location that I would like to save. I can assign this new layer a name and save it, or I can discard and start over. Within this new saved location or layer, I can now look at network and device analytics. I can view all of my saved locations at any time by clicking the checkbox on the right. Click the home icon to go back to the default map. On the left, click on the weather panel icon. You will be provided with different options for displaying weather pattern overlays on your map. Click the checkbox to display a radar. Click the play button next to the radar checkbox to see an animated radar for the last two hours. In the weather section, Click on Current Weather to display different weather status. Then, hover your mouse over Conditions to see a weather legend. For our next demonstration, let's enter an address in the search field. I will choose the New Orleans Superdome. Let's use the slider at the top to reduce the map view. On the right, click Near Real-Time LTE Coverage Map. This will display an overlay of the LTE coverage map in your location. Use the legend provided to determine coverage impact. Looks as though we have very good coverage for this location. Let's zoom out and check again. You can now see a severely impacted area of the coverage map as in this case you would expect, being over water. Service status will show real-time network outages. In this case, no events were found. Click on Site Proximity and enter an address or lat and lawn value. Again, I will enter the address for the New Orleans Superdome. This will provide the location of the three closest serving nodes or cell sites. A green arrow means there is line of sight. A red arrow means there is no line of sight. The arrow displayed with the number one means that this direction is nearest to the site. And the arrow displayed with the number three is the farthest distance. Hover your mouse over the blue location pin to see more information. Now, let's take a look at those additional tiles that you will have access to with the Premium Bundle. 
experience. This will graphically show how well your device has been connected to the Verizon network. Available scores range from excellent to poor. Typically, the graph will show the last 30 days of information. What you are seeing now is a single device's overall performance, score trend, and anomaly devices. One thing to note is that you will not see a voice score for most IoT devices. Service Diagnostic Tools. This tool allows the user to perform detailed analysis on why a device is performing in a certain way. This tile will only look at the last seven days of network information. A wireless number is required. Location is optional, but helpful to further investigate issues. You can determine if the device performance degradation is related to the actual device or network. You can also use one of the hyperlinks below to further troubleshoot your device. Click on the plus sign to expand the device level troubleshooting area. The RF performance tile provides indoor and outdoor RF characteristics based on prior week data from Verizon devices that were in that specific area. Select the Profile Management tab. Download the Address or Latitude and Longitude template. Enter your locations in the template, then upload back to the tool. Below, select the checkbox next to the report you would like to run. Then click Next. On the RF Performance Analytics page, select your title, select the type, indoor or outdoor, then select your KPI criteria and click Go. You will now be able to see detailed indoor or outdoor RF characteristics based on prior week statistics. Now, zoom in to your location on the map. Notice the RSRP color-coded map on the left. Hover your mouse over the circle to display RF details for that site. 